Hello, good day, good evening, good afternoon. We're here for some more Dune Imperium of the digital kind. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of the last while on stream and on video doing competitive player versus player matches, particularly the most recent event, the War Chest uh, tournament slash event. And, you know, I love doing that. It's great fun. And I think people like watching them. But I've also had some requests to do a bit more of the challenge modes. And I thought it'd be an interesting kind of change of pace um, to switch it up from the competitive versus player modes and uh, do some more of these challenge modes, which I think are pretty interesting. Um, and the one we're going to start with here, uh, I think is going to be across the Imperium, which is... I've heard the hardest one. Now, I have not tried them all, but I do know that it took me a number of tries to complete the normal mode. I haven't tried the heroic one yet. Uh, so just to catch everyone up to speed, the challenge mode is um, a solo mode where you're playing against AI, but the rules are tweaked and you're, you have particular goals that you need to accomplish or um, the game works in a different way. So it changes up the way you need to play the game. Um, so, for example, across the Imperium says you can't win unless you've sent an agent to each non-Landsrad board space, um, which is quite tricky to do, right? Because normally you're just thinking, how, what do I need to do to advance my goals and win the game? And you're not trying to visit each space. But this mode makes you do that. Um, just taking a look at some of the other challenges for reference over here. Great Alliance says faction alliances are worth an additional point. So some of them change the game more than others do. Ancient Duel, at the start of each combat, each player with at least one deployed troop draws an entry card. That's interesting. Um, what other ones have I actually done? So I've done this um, Benny Jesuit initiation. No, I guess I haven't. What have I done? Oh yeah, I've done the Fencing Mirror, which is a pretty fun one. Whenever a player acquires a card from the Imperium row, they acquire an additional copy of it. So I've done the normal one of that. Um, I've done the Mind Killer at the start of each combat. Every player with no deployed troops trashes the top card of their deck. Um, and I think that's about it. But let's just get rolling here. So I'm going to... I'm going to do <laughs> Across the Imperium Heroic. And um, let me just start up a new goal here. Let's see. All right, let's do this. Get some nice sound effects here <laughs> for the stream to get rolling. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to click start game and um, we'll see how we do. I think this is going to be a good challenge. I would not be surprised at all if I fail at this. Um, okay, so there's a few things to consider here. The goal is to visit every non-Landsrad, non-green board space at least once. And so Helena comes to mind as an obvious kind of pick for this, right? Because she can't get blocked at city spaces. She can't get blocked at Landsrad, which is nice, but it doesn't really matter for the particular rules of the game. But not being blocked at cities means that, you know, when you really need to hit Arakeen, you can, or when you, you know, Carthag or uh, Siege Tabor or Research Station or whatever, you can do it. Her manipulatability is not specially relevant for this mode, I don't think. So that's something to consider. Um, but the other thing to consider with this mode is I think you really need to get the Swordmaster immediately. Like as soon as you possibly can, you really need to get that Swordmaster because you need to visit every space, right? And so having an extra agent earlier is gonna give you a bit more time to hit the spaces uh, that you need to hit before the end of the game. So in terms of getting a sword master early, I feel like good picks for that um, could be Memnon because you start with a, uh, you don't start with a spice, but your signet ring gets you extra spice, which means it's easier to get to sell Melange in fewer moves to hit your sword master. If you get lucky, uh, if you get a you know your signet ring and a dune the desert planet in your opening hand, you can summon lance turn one, turn two, you're ready for a sword master. Um, the beast also can work because you do start with a, a, a spice, so he can kind of do the same sort of thing. Um, 
<laughs> I've been playing a lot of Memnon lately, so I'll give Memnon a break. Maybe I'll hit up the Beast, and I'm going to do it, again, just because of this ability to hit the Swordmaster. So I'm not going to take Helena. I'm going to say, you know what, I think I can get to all the city spaces before the game is over without using her ability. I'm going to hit up the Beast. Now, actually, you know what, before I choose, I should take a look at the Imperium Row. That does matter. That might lean me towards Helena more. But uh, honestly, nothing too thrilling here. Uh, that doesn't really make me think anything differently. So I'm just going to go ahead, pick the beast, and um, we'll see what we can do here. Okay, I do have a Memnon in the game, so he might beat me to... Uh, okay, I'm the first player. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have the... Uh, hey, we've got a, a follow here, Halarma. Thank you very much for the follow. Nice to see you. Unfortunately, I don't have two yellow access cards because what I'd really like to do is hit up Haga Basin and then hit up Selma Lange. But that's not an option. Um, so I'm going to need to use the Seek Allies here. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to kind of do um, kind of a standard sort of move here. I'm just going to go for the Still Suits right off the top. And looking at our conflict here, I am going to deploy... I'm going to deploy one troop right now. And I'm going to wait and see what everyone else does before I commit to more. Fold space, actually, you know what? That That's not a bad pick at all either early on uh, in this mode, I think, because, you know, the fold space can take you wherever you want to go. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, Memnon's throwing in a couple of troops. All right. What do I want to do here? It's either the Great Flat or Haga Basin. Maybe I just do the Haga Basin here to hang on to a water to make it easier to hit up another space that requires water. Um, I think normally I would hit up the Great Flat just to maximize the Solari I get up here, but I'm not sure the High Council seat is going to be that big a deal for me this game. I'm going to try it here. I'm going to go right there. And do I want to put in another troop or not? Um, it's not... I don't think so. I think I'm just going to sit on one and see how that goes. I have the dagger to back me up, so at the moment I will beat out Helena unless she has a dagger or if she wants to use an entry card. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. So we're going to reveal. And with four, um, maybe this Imperial Spy will be a good pick for me here because that can take me to the Emperor. I'm going to take that. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. Sardaukar infantry, I feel, works well with the beast. I'm going to be involved in a lot of conflicts, so I could go infantry and Dr. Yue. I mean, I like Dr. Yue. Um, typically, I would I want to pick up liaisons, but the other thing is the infantry can't take you anywhere. Uh, do I want to fill me up with two of those? You know what? I'm going to just do this and see. Oh boy, two Worm Riders. Okay, so we're throwing a lot of cards into the deck here off the top. It's a little weird, uh, but that's fine. We're just going to do that. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to take second and get another water, which is, um, that's pretty nice, really, because that's that's going to open up um, a great flat play. Um, which I'm going to need to do at some point. So, yeah, I don't mind taking second there at all. Honestly, third would have been fine, too. I would have cashed in for some more Solari. But, um, yeah, I like that. 
All right, so my goal is to get the Sword Master this turn. Signet Ring up to Selma Lange, Dagger to Sword Master, and then, you know, we'll see. A lot of spice available here. Leto getting an early high council seat. That's interesting. All right, so like I said, I'm going to go up here, sell some melange. We'll sell it all. We'll take our troop from the signal ring. Cannot deploy it. Obviously, this is not a combat space. So it's just going to sit here in the garrison for now. Helena going to fold space again, which is a bit of a bummer because I think I would have... I would have liked to have done that myself. Ah, the Great Flat. Okay, I was considering doing it because, you know, I've got to do it at some point in the game. Um, let's see here. Okay, it's got to be the Swordmaster right now. Hey, wait a minute. Why in the Heroic Mode do you actually have to visit all the Landsrad spaces as well? Did I... Did I miss that? What does it say here? You can't win unless you've sent an agent to each board space. Oh, the heroic one. Okay, so the heroic version makes it harder not only by adding an extra player. I thought that was the only wrinkle. Four player game versus three player game. You also have to visit all the lands rad spaces. So that would have been, that would have pushed me more towards Helena um, had I thought of that, but okay, I'm happy with the beast anyway. We'll see how it goes. But that is something I definitely need to keep in mind. Um, so I am going to need to get the High Council seat, which means I might as well go up here and get wealth, I guess. Um, do I want this stuff? I mean... I, uh, I mean, I have to visit these at some point. Getting a bit more spice wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I don't need it desperately right this second. So let me do this. Let me get some wealth. Um, if I'm going to have to get the high council seat, I might as well get it early. All right. Well, we have two to reveal. So that's going to be a liaison. And that's that. Hmm. Okay. Visit all of the spaces. Visit all of the spaces and win, right? That's the challenge. It's not just visit them all. Oh, that would have been nice to get. Secure Imperial Basin. Okay. I'm not hitting up an early Hayliner. Hello. All right. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to send my Imperial Spy up to Wealth so I can grab my High Council seat this turn. Uh, it... thing is I've already been to wealth right I've got to check these boxes off my list so maybe I go to secure contract instead and I'm gonna hang on to the signet ring for a moment I think I mean I'm not gonna be beating this so there's not a whole, re whole lot of reason to worry about how many troops I'm throwing in so let me just use the signet ring now Get my troop, get my Solari, check secure contract off the list. Yeah, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to get myself some spice at some point for that conspire. Hmm. This challenge really messes with <laughs> the strategies of the game, which is what makes it interesting. because I may not even use my spy this turn. Is 
Does anyone else? Yeah, I better get that high council seat while I can. Right. And that's why, because I would have been blocked there. Um, I am going to want to get in on this water, I think, if I get a good chance to do it. Leto revealing for eight. Reverend Mother Mahayam snagged. All right, so I've got one agent remaining to me here. And normally I would definitely want to play this Imperial Spy to get my influence, grab an intrigue card, but I think I, I just have to try to check these things off the board here. Um, I am going to have to go to Imperial Basin at some point. It's kind of a junky time to do it, but there may not be a better one. Um, oh, it's tricky. What would drawing a card do for me? Not a whole lot. So, you know what? I'm going to save Arakeen for later. I'm just going to hit up the Imperial Basin now. Get it out of the way. Get myself a spice. Like I said, I do need to get to conspire. I'm going to put in one troop just to get second place. It's a pretty good deal. Um, I don't have a ton of persuasion here, but there are some interesting options. I think I would take this space travel if it's available. And um, the reason for that is it's access, right? I need to get to um, the guild spaces. And right now I only have a diplomacy that can do that. So that's gonna be my choice. And do I want an assassination mission? You know what? I'm going to have to go to Selective Breeding at some point. And I'm going to have to go to... Um, I'm going to take it. Ooh, of course, that's hot rack. I'm going to have to go to Rally Troops and Mentat. So, I mean, I can use that Solari. Even though I've already got my Swordmaster and I've already got my High Council seat, I am going to need more Solari this game. So that... It just sort of seems opportune. Now, am I going to be able to line up the, you know, the assassination... What is it? Mission with, you know, the time when I want to go to uh, selective reading. I don't know, but we'll see if we can make it work. All right. Memnon takes control of Imperial Basin. So in a way, I'm glad I visited it before someone had control of it as well. Okay, this is a little bit of a harsh turn here. Hmm... I think this is a, a good time to hit up the Great Flat, just because I don't have many other options. And there's a bonus spice sitting on it, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, maybe I can get a Kwisatz Haderach this turn? I don't know. Deploy troops, I would like to get that point. Um, I do have the Sardaukar infantry. I'm gonna throw in three troops. No, two troops is all I can throw in. Yeah, I'll throw in two. Okay. Now, the tough thing for me here is that... Oh, Water of Life being played. Helena reserving opulence. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll see what I can end up getting here. The tough thing is I only have one card I can actually use to send an agent right now. So Docker Infantry doesn't work. Convincing arguments don't work. Um, so... Luke... Luke Dito. Duke Leto is the first player here. So... I'm going to have a... Eh, I might have a shot at this Kwisatz Haderach. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit up Selective Breeding now. I know I wanted to do that with the Assassination Mission. Um, actually, it's in my discard pile, so I should be able to, right? Perfect. Let's do that. That's going to draw me some cards, so I have some more options for my agents. And I like the way 
the news goes there. And I think I'm going to be able to get that Kwisatz Haderach, which will be very, very helpful for this mode if I can, right? That's like the thing you want to get in this kind of mode. Snow Toad Studio says, hey, Bludgeon, just curious, your thoughts on purchasing the online version on Steam? Feels bad it's 30 bucks after dropping like 60 on the physical copy. Um, I mean, I hear you on that. Um, it would be nice if it just like, you got it for free or a heavy discount if you had the original game. I also have bought the board game. Um, but I mean, you're getting something you don't get with the board game, the ability to play online, play all these challenge modes. So I would say if you love Dune Imperium and you wanna play it more, then go for it. I mean, I don't regret my purchase at all, but I can understand, um, I can understand your feeling there. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Well, I have to use this dagger. What's my next card? Maybe Mentat? Uh, my Mentat can't really be put to good use here because Dr. Yuya has nowhere to go. So maybe it's time for rally troops. Maybe I just do that. Yeah, I think I might as well rally troops right now. And that's going to be that. Halarma says it feels really polished. Oh no, Helena has nine. God damn it, I wanted that. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm getting a spice must flow. Maybe. It feels really polished and the PVE stuff plays really well, I'd recommend it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really, it's really well done. There's still a few little things that need to be tweaked and so on, but overall it's like very, very well done. Um, queue times, so there's not really queue times, you just like, there's lobby mode for making games, but typically it's pretty quick. Um, I would say not more than a few minutes to get a game going. In my experience, it's not always true. Okay. Oh man, is this really what they're offering me here? <sighs> Do I just get a spice must flow? I was really hoping to get that quiz on <laughs> Memnon is sitting on four points. Uh, I guess it's a spice must flow. I don't like that clogging up my deck, but um, I don't. I could get a shifting allegiances. I could get a gene manipulation. No, I'm just gonna get a spice must flow. Oh, I'm so sad about that quiz on rock, but that's that's how it goes sometimes. A staged incident. Okay, so Lino's out. All right, that's nice. I'll get a water and a spice. Snow Toad Studio says, I also appreciate the great commentary. I watched a few of your vids on YouTube. Great content. Hey, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying it. Glad you came to tune in live. Um, all right. So Helena gets the point. I get some resources, which is all right. Um, that puts me to four spice, which can take me to conspire, which is a place I need to visit. Ooh. All right, I think this has to be a Dr. Yue opening round here because I need to get another card to play, I think. Um, is it time for Research Station to give me more options here? Maybe it is. Maybe it's a good time to do that. Typically, I do that when I want to hit up like enough persuasion to buy something like a spice must flow. In this case, though, I really don't have great tools. And Arakeen, I mean, I'll draw two. If I send Dr. Yu to Arakeen, that'll draw me two. If I send him to Research Station, that'll draw me four. Uh... I mean, I've got to do it at some point. Let me just do it now. Bring him on, bring him on. Come on in. Okay, and deploy troops. Do I need a ton of Solari? I guess I still need some, but I'm not super concerned. So I'm just gonna throw in one and see what we get. With the infantry and the daggers, that one, you know, could end up uh, being stronger than it seems right now. I really need to get this Freeman influence so that I can hit up Siege Tabor. That's 
uh, I might have to focus that with my diplomacy, but I also need to get a bolt space. This is hard, man. It's really hard to... Like, it's hard to just hit all the spaces, let alone also win. But we're going to try. Okay, so maybe now's the time to hit up Conspire. I wouldn't mind getting an Intrigue card. Um, and that would be two Intrigue cards. So, yeah. The rest of my turn is going to be a little bit whack, but I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. And I am going to trash this because I don't need it anymore desperately. Like, I visited both of the Emperor spaces at this point. Okay, that could come in really handy. I'm happy with both of those cards. We'll get my Emperor's point. Um, I'm pretty far away from an alliance. Typically with the Beast, you want to get an alliance as soon as you can to power up the Signet Ring. Um, it's not really going to happen here. I don't need to play either of these Intrigues now, so we'll just end... The turn. I noticed Gurney Halleck is sitting here. That's a nice card. I might be able to pick that up. But uh, as far as the rest of my turn goes, my one remaining agent um, is going to be the Signet Ring. And maybe it'll take me to Mentat. It's either Mentat or it's Hall of Oratory, right? Um, but if I meant that, I can do both and get them out of the way. So maybe now's the time to do it. I mean, I'm going to be blocked in a lot of things, but if I'm lucky, I'll get a diplomacy or a space travel. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Well, I guess I can use the dispatch and envoy as well. Okay, let me hit up Mentat. See what we get. Okay, great. That's awesome. Take my troop, and my turn. If I get lucky here, I might even... Mm, I was going to say I might even be able to get a Spice Must Flow, but that's... That's only if I want to play my Dagger up to Hall of Oratory, which maybe I should consider instead of playing the Space Travel. Ah... <sighs> Maybe, uh, oh man, <laughs> it's rough. Snow to a gotta pop off for now. Good luck, man. Excited to tune in next Sunday when I get a little more time. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Uh, all right. So do I space travel to the fold space? Probably, right? It's just that like getting that fold space earlier rather than later is going to help a lot. But I'm sitting on eight persuasion with nothing good to do with it. If I hit up the Hall of Oratory, which I do need to... You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to have to go there at some point, And at least right now, it gets me a Spice Must Flow, which is kind of whatever. But uh, I'm going to do it. I mean, it's whatever in the sense that it's a bit early and I'm kind of clogging my deck. But... That's just how it's got to go, I think. Okay. All right. Well, my... Uh, oh, private army? Helena really wants some Solari. Fine with me. Burn it now. Burn it now. I don't need that Solari anymore. All right. So I have now visited all of the lands rat spaces. I'm good there. I visited the Chome spaces. I'm good there. Um, I visited the desert spaces. I'm good there. I have three cities still to visit. I have four faction spaces still to visit. So that's seven things I have to do before I'm even eligible to win. All right, what's this one? Battle for Carthag. I'm not dying to control Carthag, but better me than somebody else. Uh, 
So, uh, again, I'd like to get this fold space, but I really want to unlock this Siege Tabber. So I think what I'm going to do is hit up Hardy Warriors and throw in some troops. I think that's... I think that's the play. I may end up using the Dispatch and Envoy to send something else up there. We'll see how things go. But... Yeah, I've got to get that unlocked. Get my point. I have ten things here. I may as well throw in four of them. Let's put them to work, man. Put them to work. Um, this is a, a point right now. So I'm actually sitting at six. It's looking okay. I'm one short at the moment of buying a Spice Must Flow. That's probably not going to happen this round. Another Sardok, our Legion has showed up. Has shown up? I guess that's I guess that's correct. Um Okay, Leto fighting me for this, and I don't have any swords. So if I want to win this, I've got to throw in more troops by going here, which I don't. Uh, I don't want to do. I think this is the time to dispatch an envoy to fold space. I think. I think this is the time. Although, you know what? I still have two agents left. And. The reconnaissance can't go anywhere. So that's going to be my fold space. But I think I better send the dune to dune. And then I can throw in some troops as well. Uh, because otherwise, I'm going to have nowhere that can even go. And yeah, the spice must flow is out of reach for me right now. So let me do this. I'm going to give Memnon a spice, which I'm not thrilled with, but you know, at least I'm going to get one too. Okay. Um, so deploy troops. Leto still has an agent left. There's not a lot of places he can go to put troops in. Um, but I, you know what? I, I want this point. I'm going to throw in two. I've got a ton of Solari here, more than I need. That may be a, a rally troops at some point if I can, if I can fit that in. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay here, right? I've got, I've got a few places I still need to visit. Discard two cards? Are you serious? Well, it's actually not. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I wasn't really <laughs> going to be able to buy much. I mean, I guess I there's a couple things. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Discard two. We'll discard those two. Uh, that's a powerful card for sure. <clears throat> okay. So it's time to dispatch an envoy. Um, this liaison is going to go to fold space. So let's dispatch. Go to fold space. We'll do that. Still just going to hang on to this for now. There's no reason to play it at the moment. Power play. Leto surely is going to buy that. Okay, so I could have gotten away with just one troop there by the looks of things. Although you never know, he may play an intrigue card. No, reveal. Okay, now. Is there anything worth getting for two? It might just be liaison at this point. Um, I think I'm going to be able to hit up the spaces I need to hit up, and it may just come down to buying a Spice Must Flow. At the end, what do I have left? Hayliner, Secrets, so Diplomacy, or um, Space Travel. They can get me there. And then I need Cities. The Arrakis Liaison can take me to Cities, so I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. All right, we'll pass there. I'm going to need 
some water at some point so that I can hit up Siege Tabber. But most of the tough stuff is done, right? I do need to get Spice so that I can hit up Hayliner. Okay, I'm glad to get that point. I need water, I need spice. Look at this pile here. Nobody's got enough. Battle for Arakan. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit rough because I don't have a good way of... Ooh, I don't have a good way of fighting for this because this fold space Hmm. Maybe this goes to Arakeen. Or yeah, maybe it goes to Arakeen. Maybe it goes to Siege Tabber. Mm, maybe I like that because that opens up a spice possibility. I really want to send it to Secrets. But I also, I need to hit up these cities and I need to get some water. There's a lot of things I need here. Hmm. I could hold off on the fold space for a second. Just use the reconnaissance. I think maybe getting the water now. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure the way this works is if I get to 10 points, the game will just not end. So I can hit up 10 and hit my spaces. I discard two cards. Okay, uh, well, we're gonna lose the dagger. And I guess we're going to lose the Dune, the Desert Planet. Is that right? I don't know. I was hoping to go there to get that spice. But since that's no longer a possibility... Uh, am I going to go to another city? I mean, I might. <laughs> Discard two cards is hurting me, man. It's hurting me. Okay, I'm going to lose the Dune. I don't know. It's a tough it's a tough call actually. It's not just me, which is nice. Okay. Do I get another water here? To give this, a, I'm gonna need to get a load of spice, right? So I can't do it this turn, I know. But if I take this water, no one else is gonna be able to get water, and there's gonna be a load of spice ready for me later. I think that is the play. It also lets me throw in more troops. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that might actually be good. Okay, thank you, Helena, for not taking Arakeen. Memnon to Hardy Warriors. Okay, so it looks like I'm not going to win this conflict. Although, I, I have a chance to put in more troops still. It's just not going to be a lot. Wait a minute, did he not actually throw troops in there? Ah, Arakeen, I really wanted that one. All I can do is research station. Okay, so I got... I got kind of screwed there. Well, um, it looks like the liaison is going to have to go to rally me some more troops, which is not the worst thing in the world. Okay, Memnon still has an agent left, so I guess he's going to be throwing more troops in. I don't have a way of doing that. Um, 
Yeah. So I think it's just rally troops here. I'm sad I couldn't hit up Arakeen. I was really hoping to be able to do it, but I can't, so I won't. I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Helena to the Hayliner. Well, you know what, though? I prefer Helena doing this than Memnon winning this. Memnon doesn't really reveal. Okay, well, I guess I... I'm not too happy about Helena doing it anymore. All right. Wait a minute, Helena didn't throw in her troops? What in the world? All right, that's... I'm being gifted uh, the win here by the looks of things. Okay, that's pretty weird. Uh, three, do I want any of these? The test of humanity? Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I do still need to hit up secrets. That might get me there. And you know, it's two persuasion. Um, it also has city access, so that's fine. Am I winning this? Wow. Okay, that is really good. <laughs> that is, I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. When Memnon went to Hardy Warriors, still had an agent left, Helena hit up the Hayliner with the Kwisatz Haderach and then didn't throw in the troops. That's, that's pretty weird. But I'll take it. All right, so there's a giant load of spice there. Uh, looks like I'm going to have first crack at it. Helena has a lot of water, but I'm going to go before her. Okay, that's very nice. I got lucky with that setup. All right. So I need to collect this spice so that I can get to Hayliner. I'm well set up here. Now... I still have these cities I need to get to. Oh man, what if I get just continuously blocked at these cities? That would be very sad. Troops are in. Okay. With the amount of spice that everyone else is sitting on, I don't have to prioritize the Hayliner right now. So I think I will use Diplomacy to go to Secrets. And get that out of the way. There's an alliance to be had there, but I need to do this. Windfall. Okay, great. So I'm going to have um, a bunch of points. I like how I'm controlling these cities up here. That's thematic. All right. Memnon has thrown in a bunch of characters here. Leto grabs an alliance. Uh, but now it's time for the Hayliner to come in on top of everybody. That's also going to get me a point. They all go in because let's just not fuck around here. Uh, no need for this again at the moment. <laughs> so I've got the points, right? But I still have two cities to visit. That might take me 
a little while. The good news is I'm the first player next turn and I have two city access cards. So I, I theoretically could do it next round. Oh, Chome Access just got snagged? Okay. Not a huge deal yet. So the question is, can any of these others catch me before I visit both cities? I kind of don't think so. Um, I mean, I'm over 10 now, so might I as well? I still don't need to. <laughs> I'm just going to hang on to it for a second. Okay. Uh, reveal. For five. What do we got? Do I need a Freeman camp? Maybe. Mm. I need city access, right? So I think... I think it's liaisons. I think it's liaisons because I just want to go to the cities and buy spice must flow. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't want that Sardaukar infantry. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, the Freeman camp is a better card for sure than these other. Oh, no, no. Reinforcements. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon here. Memnon. Throws in one? What is going on? <laughs> I feel like these AIs are making some odd decisions. Maybe I'm missing something there. Maybe I missed something. Did I miss something? Gain one troop? Did he, ha he had none left or something? I don't know. Maybe that's it? I, I don't know. Okay, anyway, pass. Ambush. Well, good for you, Helena. Maybe if you'd thrown in your troops from Hayliner. Or was that last round? That was last round. Okay. All right, I get the points. Yeah, the other thing is, like, I have to hit these cities before the game ends, right? So I have two rounds to do it. <laughs> All right, we'll see if I can. It, oh, man, it might be... It might be tricky. Uh, do I want to draw a card first or do I want to get an intrigue card first? Maybe the intrigue card is more important. The AIs seem to be prioritizing the intrigue, so I better do that while I can and just hope Erekin is left. I think that's the play. I'll take my troop and I'll throw them both in. These spice plus flows. I've got like nothing here. Maybe Erekin would have been better actually. Thinking about it more, it would have been better. But again, all I need to do is get to Erekin. Get to both of them this round and it's over, right? So my calculation was they seem to love Karthag. They don't seem to love Erekin as much. Whoa, look at those moves. Okay. Just don't go to Erekin. Just don't go to Erekin. All right. Whew. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is it. I go to Erekin. I satisfy the conditions, and I'm already at the top of the list here. I just have to stay there. Uh, but it doesn't look like anybody else is going to be able to hit it. We'll see. Lido getting to seven, but he's not in this conflict, so I should be okay. Liaison to Arakeen. Does it trigger the last turn warning now? No? Am I missing something? 22 of 22. No, I'm good. 
Well, we'll deploy the troop. Uh, I mean, whatever. I'll do this one just for laughs. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's the last round warning here. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. We'll see, though. If Memnon wins this, he goes up to eight. Okay, it looks like he's going to win it. If he can get a Spice Must Flow, he could go to nine. If he has a, uh, an endgame entry card, he could maybe. All right, well, I'm going to use this one now because why not? Unfortunately, I have to early reveal because of what I got here, and it's not enough for me to get a Spice Must Flow. So that's just how that is. Uh, is there anything here worth getting? No, there is not. So that's an end turn. Sleeper must awaken. Okay. Plus five doesn't even do anything. All right. Well, I think I got him. All right. Got him. Memnon gets a huge victory, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Demand respect. What does that do for you, Memnon? I, you don't have to demand it. You can ask for it nicely. Okay, he gets a point there. Uh, could he have enough in endgame intrigues? I don't think so. Leto has the plans within plans, but he doesn't satisfy the conditions. Okay, Memnon does have the corner of the market. Did he get enough spice must flow? I don't think so. We got him. <laughs> All right, the beast comes in. First try on the heroic um, across the Imperium. I'm happy with that. Um, how did that go? Well, okay, so the beast succeeded in getting me a sword master pretty quickly. Not as quickly as he could have. It kind of was like a a normal fast speed. It wasn't like a hyper fast speed, um, but I got it, and I was able to weave around, get the the spaces I needed to get when they were available. Honestly, I was kind of just going for what space is available that I can take that sort of helps me right now. Um, I don't think I got any like super amazing cards from the Imperium row. I thought I was going to get a Kwisatz Haderach, but I didn't. Um, you know, what did I do? I picked up faction access when I could, right? I got the Imperial Spy. That helped me get to the Emperor's bases. I picked up a space travel. Um... I think I used it once, but it helped me get my guild spaces. Um, I don't know. It just kind of worked out, I guess. I won conflicts when I needed to, so I was able to get the points that I needed to win. I bought more spice must flows than I was really thinking I would, but it's just kind of how it worked out, and I was able to get those city spaces in the end. It, it could have been tricky, right? I had round nine and round 10 to get two city spaces, and luckily, as the first player, um, I was able to get one, but I was worried I wouldn't be able to get to the other one. Okay, so that's it for this one. Uh, let's move on to the next challenge. What are we gonna do now? Sorry to interrupt there past bludgeon, but I think one challenge is enough for this video. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're looking forward to more challenges, there are more coming up in the pipeline. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you can find them as soon as they pop up. If you'd like to catch me live, 
tune in to uh, twitch.tv slash bludgeon. You can find everything happening there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.